Oh boy, finally some new Ark Survival Evolved content. Ladies and gentlemen, are you excited? Let me know in the comments below. We are going to be covering some of the stuff concerning Extinction in this episode. We'll also be playing the full trailer here in a second for those of you who have not seen it. And then we'll actually get into some of the new creatures, items, and stuff to expect on the way up to Extinction and upon release. Right now we're hanging out on our Crystal Isles Mutation Zoo, which we're actually working on building. Not a lot to see here yet, but we are going to go ahead and show that full trailer right now. Now, so stay tuned after the trailer to learn more about the monsters, new monsters, dinosaurs, I'm going to call them monsters, coming to Ark Survival Evolved, as well as some cool items and things to expect on the way to release. Now that trailer, in my opinion, was pretty freaking awesome. That map, oh my god, does that map look absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to explore every nook and cranny of this new map and find all new base locations and stuff like that. Now, that mini boss that we saw there at the end, that is actually going to be tameable. That monstrosity is a mini boss. It's not even the end game boss. And according to Wildcard, it is going to be tameable. So that is incredibly exciting in and of itself. Now we've also got a picture of another monster that's going to be included in Ark Extinction. And let's check that out now. Now this beautiful creature is tentatively called Gas Bags. This is going to be your new pack mule, much like the Morella Tops on Scorched Earth and it's kind of ridiculous looking. I like it though. It looks so cute and cuddly. And getting mutations on this thing, I bet will be amazing. Now we do have two photos of this. We've got the concept art and the actual mysterious mysteries photo like they did with Aberration. And that is right here. Now I like the concept art a lot. You can't really tell what the hell is going on here. Although this does kind of look like the concept art now that I think about it. But um, it's pretty cool. This is going to be your pack mule, though. So it's not going to be anything crazy. It's basically going to be like a starter creature where you're going to store all your stuff on there and be able to move around the map and set up shop somewhere else. And um, I like those concepts. I really like the Morella tops at the beginning of the game in uh, Scorched Earth. And I wonder if this has some special ability like the Morella tops that'll help you survive in the early game. Now we've also got the concept art for two new items in Arc Extinction, the Item Balloon and the Cryo Chamber. Now the item balloon is actually really cool. What this does is while you're out harvesting resources, you can actually load this balloon up and float it back to your base so that the items can actually be at your base and you can stay out harvesting resources longer. Now the caveat to this is enemy players are most likely going to be able to shoot down this balloon. So it's a risk and reward thing. You can stay out harvesting things longer without having to go back to base. But on the downside, enemy players can steal all your shit if they want to. So it's still a really cool early game item if you don't have like your pack mule, like the gas bag, or something else to carry a lot of weight and you want to be able to harvest things a lot longer. Now, the cryo chamber. This item is what I am most excited about. This thing is amazing. I've been using the dino storage mod on my servers and it is really good. But this is actually going to be a way for you to store your dinos in ice cube form and transport them in your pocket 
It's amazing. So now we don't have to actually use a mod to have a good effective way to store dinos. Now, unfortunately, these cubes will actually degrade in your pocket. So eventually you will need to release them, but it's going to be a really good way for you to trade your dinosaurs and actually be able to transport them. So you can go out, tame something, put it in a cryo chamber and then bring it to another base or something like that. If you want to trade dinosaurs, uh, trade mutations and stuff like that, it makes your life significantly easier. Now, the downside to this is an enemy player can kill you and steal your dinosaurs that way. So it adds a whole new layer to the game that wasn't there before, and being able to potentially steal somebody's amazing dinosaurs while they're going out on a trade mission or something like that is amazing. It brings a whole new layer to PvP and stuff like that, and I'm really excited for the cryo chamber and just being able to store dinosaurs. Now it's unfortunate that you won't be able to keep them like that forever, but I imagine if you have a whole bunch of cryo chambers, you'll actually be able to keep the dinosaurs maybe inside of the cryo chamber because when they're in there, they actually don't need to eat or anything like that, which is incredibly useful. Now, last but not least, we've got the concept art for the Scout Drone. Now, this is really cool. It's unknown if you're going to actually be able to craft this or if it's something that's tameable. I imagine it's going to be craftable, but you can actually peer through special binoculars to see through your scout's camera and scout possibly dangerous locations, scout for dinosaurs, enemy players, and it's a really, really cool concept to be able to actually leave your base and scout around, look for dinosaurs, look for players, look for enemy bases without actually having to put yourself in danger. Now, another cool thing, attach explosive to these. And remember the explosive dodos? Now you can have explosive scout drones, which is so much better. And <laughs> in PvP, I imagine it's going to be a freaking nightmare. Now, aside from Ark Extinction releasing on November 6th, hopefully, we know Wild Card's history. I highly doubt it'll actually release on that date, uh, but that's the tentative date, at least for now. We'll also be having the Ark Extinction Chronicles available on the island, Scorched Earth, and Aberration. Now, what this is going to consist of is Extinction-related Explorer notes basically being routinely dropped uh, each month on these different maps, which will allow you to unlock new information about Ark Extinction and Extinction related skins. There will also be an appearance of more powerful tech themed dinosaur variants within Arcs each month. So we've already got the Tech Rex and we've got a new skin, the Corrupted Helm which looks freaking amazing. And I'm actually going to be breeding the Tech Rexes here in the next couple days on this particular mutation server so that I can get them. Maybe I'll put one inside of our Rex enclosure that we've got already, but there is a lot of exciting things to come and it'll give people a reason to go back to Scorched Earth and Aberration instead of just playing on freaking Ragnarok. <laughs> but anyways, I am super excited about this update. I love Ark, but there just hasn't been any real new content to keep me entertained with it, along with, you know, all the other new content that I've been covering. But I'm definitely going to be super excited to be back playing Ark on a routine, maybe even daily basis. Right now I'm doing the Mutation series, but that's maybe like an episode every other day. And I've actually got an episode coming out later today where we breed up all of these raptors, which is a spoiler. Oh my God, I just spoiled the episode. <laughs> I've been running around the mutations I got all morning already. But anyways... Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and it was informative. If you guys have any ideas on what Arc Extinction is going to consist of, definitely make sure to share it in the comments below. Now, if you're also looking for servers, I do have a Patreon community with the Island Scorched Earth and Aberration all on there. So if you guys are looking for servers, you can become a Patreon and uh, have access to that. Now, I don't say to become a Patreon just for this for these servers. Um, because becoming a patron is really to support your favorite creators. But if you do want, we have an amazing Patreon community, and I'm sure it's going to be significantly more active upon the release of Extinction. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to share your support and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more Ark Survival Evolved content, news, and just general shenanigans. And I will see you all in the next one.